Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video we're going to be bringing you guys another exciting Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be going over a free plugin for Adobe After Effects called Colorista Free by Magic Bullet, or whatever it is over there. So as you can see here, here's the plugin, and it essentially adds in a three-way color corrector for Adobe After Effects, because as you guys know, After Effects doesn't have the standard three-wheel color corrector thing over here that I've been used to personally using in programs like Final Cut Pro. So here it is over here. Here it's an absolutely free plugin that you can download from the link in the description and it essentially just adds in this. I won't go over the details on how to use this too much as it's simply just dragging the wheels over here but I will show you guys how to install it because I have had some trouble installing it but first let's go over and see what this can do. So as you can see I have three layers right here. I have my main footage, I have two adjustment layers down here. This one is the color correction with the default tools in After Effects. As you can see right here, brightness, curves, equalize, exposure, hue, and vibrance. And then right here, this adjustment layer has only the Colorista plugin on here. So let's back up and hide some of these layers. So this right here, what you're seeing, is just the plain footage that I shot on my camera. This was shot on a Canon T3i with the Technicolor Cinestyle preset on it, which I will go over in a future video. And now this right here, what you're seeing, is what happens with just the basic color correction inside of After Effects. As you can see, it looks pretty good, but it won't let us choose the color with a graphical color wheel interface like you're seeing up here. And now finally, this is what our finished product looks like with the Colorista Free plugin right over here. And this is what I did just by dragging in the color wheels up here. So now, before I get into showing you guys how to install this, let me just show you what it looks like finally while playing this clip that I have right here. So let's uh, watch this back. So after ignoring the noise in the background, as you can see, it looks pretty good and it looks a lot better than our original footage that we have here. And so now I'm going to show you how to install the Colorista Free plugin right here. So first, go to the link in the description, which will be this link right here, which will show the Magic Bullet Colorista Free version 1.0 plugin. You can download it for free right here, just click on download. Now, my only problem with this right here is as you can see here, under the system requirements, it needs After Effects version CS5, CS4, or CS3 and the same for Premiere Pro and Final Cut. Now the only problem with that is I tried installing this normally for the CS5 version, but as you can see I'm running version CS6 down here, and it wouldn't work for version CS6. So to install it on CS6 it's actually kind of simple, it just involves manually dragging and moving files. I have two links right here which are from the Frequently Asked Questions or FAQ section on the website which show you how to do it on a Mac right here and then how to do it on Windows right here. The process should be the same for both operating systems just with a different file path. So I'm going to show you how to do it on a Mac in this video but if you want to do it on Windows I will leave the link for this page right here in the video video's description so that you can follow along with that. But the first thing you want to do to install it for version CS6, and this will work for version CS5.5 as well, is download the program right here. Just download it like you normally would. It should show up in your downloads or wherever you decided to download it. Just go in there and launch up the install file, which you can see right here, and just install it normally. Click continue, continue, agree. And as you can see, it'll pop up with this and just check mark for After Effects or Premiere CS5 right here. So I'm just going to install it for CS5. Click continue and install it like you normally would. I have it installed already, however, so I'm not going to do that again. But then once you have it installed for version CS5, go to your Macintosh hard drive over here. So open up that, go to library, application support, Adobe, and then find the common folder down here. Open that up and go into the plugins folder and then you should see two folders here, CS5 and CS6. CS6 is just because we have CS6 installed down here and CS5 was created when we installed the program or the plugin. So open up the CS5 folder and you should see a media core folder. And in that you can see the Colorista free and the actual plugin itself. So just copy the media core, fo core folder by clicking copy and then you just want to go into the CS folder 
paste it in and just, you know, right click paste. And then as you can see here, there will be the media core folder, magic bullet colorista free, and then this right here. And then once that's done, just launch up After Effects and it should be launched in After Effects. Just go to Effects, Magic Bullet Colorista Free, and there it is right there. So this is version CS6, and then there's the plugin in there. So if you want to figure out how to do this on Windows, it's pretty much the same steps. You just need to go to different file paths. And I will link this web page for you guys in the description to help you guys out. But anyway, that's how you get it installed. And once you have it installed, it's pretty much straightforward. So let me hide our layer right here with the colorista effects on it and I'm just going to create a new adjustment layer which will affect everything and I'm just going to apply this to that one just to show you guys me using it really quickly so we're gonna to go to effects magic bullet colorista and colorista free and that should load this up right here and you get these wheels where you can drag things around for the midtones shadows and highlights and then we can drag the different colors around and basically play with it until we get the different look that we want to for any type of video or project that you're doing so i just did something really random right there you can also choose the saturation so i'm just going to maybe over saturize it a little bit and here's what it looks like with the effect on and without with without just some subtle differences right there but if you really play around with this and make the settings to the way you want to and combine them with the default effects from after effects right here you should be able to get some really good effects and some really good looking colors for your videos so that's pretty much it that's the magic bullet colorista free plugin you can download it for adobe after effects cs5 cs6 and 5.5 but just just notice that if you're using above version cs5 you'll have to install it with my little backwater technique that you guys saw right there so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching i'll leave the links to everything i talked about today in the video's description and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye